Good morning, everybody. The spring has come, and I'm still asleep. <laughs> Welcome in my four square meters garden, and let's back to my two square meter studio. <laughs> I started painting a story. Last time we saw the first scene, the sail ship and the, its crew. So that's the scene I want to paint now. We approach the ship and we paint details. So the scene, it's interesting. Backlight effect, so the transparency of the sails, reflections on the sea. I prepare my stuff, the colors. Left hand side palette is for tubes. Sometimes I refill this, this slot on the palette and then I start with the first drawing, a sketch. I use really soft pencil, the 4B pencil. And then I draw really light sketch, just the shapes, main shapes, not too many details. And then we start painting. Pre-wet the paper and start with a wet on wet effect. And now I start creating a strange mix of various colors, such as pinacridon red, ultramarine blue, cerulean, burnt sienna. So anytime I will have a, a nice variety of uh, color in the sky. When we get closer to the sun and the ship, we use much more water in order to deal with, in order to have a pale color. From from the sun, there will be a high percentage of blue. Nearby the, the ships, we have the sun behind it, so we put orange, yellow naples, and then water, much water. Okay, now the trick is to paint first the shadow of the ship on the sea, I mean the blue, and then when the part is still wet, you must quickly paint the upper part so that the red color starts getting down, starts flowing inside the wet part in blue, creating a transition of color.
details. They are always the most time-consuming parts of the painting. I hate details, actually. <laughs> 